looking for some fun and exciting things to do in Brussels, Belgium, then you've come to the right place. In this video, I'm going to show you some of the best activities that the city has to offer. Before we jump on to the best things to do in Brussels, make sure to subscribe to Via Travelers, where we help travelers get the best travel experience around the globe. Check out some of our recommended Brussels tours and essentials in the description. Hey everyone, my name is James from Via Travelers, and in this video, I'm going to show you some of the best things to do in Brussels. This vibrant and lively city has something for everyone, so whether you're a history buff or just looking for a good time, I guarantee you won't be disappointed. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride as I take you on a tour of all the must-see attractions in Brussels. Although it's often overshadowed by its larger European neighbours, Brussels is a city with a long and rich history. Founded in the 12th century, Brussels quickly became an important centre of trade and commerce. In the centuries that followed, the city grew steadily, becoming an important cultural and political hub. Today, Brussels is known for its grand architecture, lively nightlife and delicious cuisine. It also serves as the capital of the European Union, making it a popular destination for political and business travellers from all over the world. Whether you're interested in politics or simply want to enjoy some of the best beer in Europe, Brussels is a great place to visit. Without any further delays, here are the best things to do in Brussels, Belgium. The Grand Place is one of the main attractions in Brussels. When you see it for the first time, you will be amazed at its beauty and architecture. The building dates back to the 17th century, and today it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. What gets this attraction to our number one position is its central location, beauty, architecture and history. The Grand Place is surrounded by notable buildings including Brussels Town Hall and the Royal Palace. These will also make a great visit. You can relax at one of the restaurants and admire the architecture of the buildings in the central square. Don't forget to buy some snacks like Belgian chocolate, waffles or other delicious treats found around the surrounding shops. A delicious Belgian meal will make a great experience. Try the Carbonade Flamande, a yummy beef stew, or Moules Frites, the classic mussels with fries. Just like other European cities, Belgium is home to amazing cathedrals and Gothic churches. Each cathedral is unique and offers a special feeling to its visitors. Our best pick is the Cathedral of St. Michael and St. Gerdula a UNESCO World Heritage Site with breathtaking architecture. This Gothic cathedral is one of the largest churches in Belgium. It also boasts amazing statues and stained glass windows which are too beautiful to ignore. The tower of this mighty Gothic church reaches 210 feet high, making it a great place to take pics. Whether or not you love art, you really must visit the Royal Museums of Fine Arts of Belgium. This family of museums includes collections of important art all the way back to the Middle Ages, offering an amazing window into how life was like during those times. You can also find works from notable artists like Da Vinci, Van Dyck, Bruegel, Rubens and Rembrandt. Some of the most famous paintings include The Girl with the Pearl Earring, Steen's The Merry Family and Caravaggio's Medusa. Another great spot to visit is the Mont des Arts. This is an architectural landmark that has been around for over 200 years. A great activity is to climb La Tour, an observation tower offering a 360 degree panoramic view of Brussels city centre, the European Parliament, the Atomium and the Waterloo battlefield. This is a great spot to capture some of the beauty of the surrounding attractions in Brussels. No visit to Brussels is complete without a visit to the Palace of Justice. This is an ornate building in the middle of Brussels that houses many courts and departments of law, including the Law Courts, the Court of Cassation and the Supreme Court. There is also the Palace of Justice Museum, which holds exhibits on popular historic trials. For a more interactive activity, visit the library or the gardens behind the court building. The Mannequin Piss is one of Brussels' most famous landmarks. It's a small statue of a boy peeing, and it's located at the centre of the city. The Mannequin Piss is pretty easy to find. Just look for the little guy in the centre of town peeing freely. Depending on the time of year, he's often dressed up in different costumes, so it's worth checking out to see what he's wearing. The Mannequin Piss is more than just a peeing statue. He's a symbol of the city. Locals even have their own annual festival celebrating this little guy. If you'd like to see more effigies of things peeing in the streets, make sure you also check out Jonica Piss and Zinnica Piss. Just remember, this isn't an invitation for you to indulge in some public urination. As I mentioned earlier, Belgium produces some of the best beers in Europe. Brussels is home to many breweries. You can take a beer tour just to see some of the best breweries in town. 
One of the best places we recommend you visit for a classic Belgian beer is Delirium Village. This beer spot is just a short walk from the Grand Place and offers amazing locally brewed beer in a number of awesome venues. If you're looking for a shopping area or plan to get yourself a souvenir, then you should visit the Galerie Royale Saint Hubert or the Royal Gallery of Saint Hubert. This is one of the oldest shopping malls in the world, dating back to 1847. You can find 200 shops, restaurants and cafes to spend time shopping and dining on yummy Belgian food in this mighty mall. Belgian waffles and chocolate are a great treat for anyone in general, but especially when visiting Brussels. The waffles are made from yeasted batter cooked in a special waffle iron. These are typically served plain or with fruits, chocolate or whipped cream. Regardless of how you eat them, they are utterly delicious. Belgian chocolate is some of the best in the world. Belgians are cocoa crazy, and this is visible in every corner of Brussels. You'll find chocolates everywhere you go, from truffles to bars to pralines and everything else in between. It's a chocoholic's delight! The best way to taste Belgian chocolate is by joining a chocolate appreciation tour and visiting a chocolatier, or several. And of course, the Brussels Chocolate Museum. If you're looking for a great place to relax and take in some fresh air, then you should check out one of Brussels' many beautiful parks. Our personal favourites are Mont des Arts, Parc de Bruxelles, and Parc de Cinquantunaire, but there are plenty of others to choose from. All of the parks are well maintained and offer a variety of activities, so you're sure to find one that suits your interests. Well, my wee travellers, that's all I've got time for today. I hope this list has given you some inspiration to visit this stunning city in Belgium. Be sure to like and subscribe for more on tip-top travel bins, and I'll catch you on the flippity-flip. Todd Scenes!